also to understand uh, what is around me uh, I have always to, to draw. Uh, I really like to make work set specific, to make some experience outside the studio, like in, uh, I was in Bethlehem uh, two years ago, uh, I was in France last year, and the experience really strong for me, and after I like to come back in my studio to think about this experience and to create some project about it. But I think uh, the first medium for me is the, is the pencil. It's not simple because really a lot of people uh, who have seen this work are really angry with the work and with me and uh, for me it's not a problem but uh, it's like uh, often you have when you see something different uh, layer of comprehension the first layer the second layer and in this special work, I, I have a little bit play with these two layers of comprehension. The interesting thing are the synapses of the synapses of, of that. If you see a German text, if you see scouts, and if you see uh, uh, an Israel flag, you immediately understand something. But this is the first synapse that create your brain, but if you see that the skull are not skull, human skull, but skull of animal, and if you read the text, you can understand the real meaning of the work. No one of this work, and no work that I have made, want to say something straight like this is, like this, but it's like you are studying something, you are trying to understand and a way to understand uh, something is also to draw. The first idea was to paint on cardboard and uh, to paint a flag and after it comes the idea to put all this box of cardboard like a pyramid or a mountain. This work, the name is Chinese Life, like uh, the Chinese Empire. Uh, it's like this empire is built up on uh, economic relation, and uh, but the cardboard represents also that this empire is a little bit fragile. And I think uh, when Chinese people will understand that in the other side of the world people live perhaps a little bit better. Uh, something will change and uh, I think perhaps there could be a little bit of problem to hold on all these people and to say them that they have to work for a, a really less money and it's for the 
is for this that there is this big mountain but like a fragile mountain. It's like a really strong presence of the USA in this area and this presence causes some uh, social problem and some political problem. For example, the UK flag is thrown on, uh, on India and the, the idea was like uh, domination of the past. This one is like domination of the present and the Chinese flag is thrown on all the Asian territory like a future domination. This for me uh, are important drawing because they are the first drawing that I have made in this studio. Before I, I used to work in the countryside and after I come in the city and I come in this space and I begun to, to draw these things that for me were new things. And there is uh, here we have a co crocodile draw on paper with pencil and in the other side you have a pollen and the pollen is uh, a symbol that I utilize a lot because uh, it's the grain of the new life and it's also um, a perfect aesthetical form uh, this means that each part of the pollen is for something and it's for the reproduction of the, of the nature. And it's a really little thing, but it's really complex and really interesting. And so you have another time, the circle of life the death and the rebirth, but not in a Christian way. <laughs> and this one is a part of an installation that I have made in uh, Upside New York in the Yellow Bird Gallery in 2005. And there was a uh, all wall covered by, by these images. And the things that I like is the opposition also uh, about the um, uh, Nail. nails uh, and, and this transparent layer that is like really soft and after you have a lot of nails. And, and I, I like this in the, in the composition of the work. Uh, for me, the interesting thing was to understand what go in, in the mind of this nun who uh, she was 98 years old and really in the last moment of her life she asked herself this terrible question if she really go to live after death between the Godfather. For her, it's really a difficult question because she had lived or her life for this mission and at the end she asked herself if this uh, if this uh, gonna gonna be to to gone 
in, in reality for me the important thing is that the work uh, you, you can understand the work without an, uh, something that tell you what this work is about uh, if this work it seems like the work is good if this doesn't work it seems like the work is a little bit that you ha don't have understand how to really uh, show the, uh, the the things that you want to to say. Grasbeck is an hospital where live uh, some psychotic patient and I went there for uh, one month and a half it's in France, north east of France I went there to make a world touring and world painting in uh, their new hospital so that the patient can uh, go a little bit slowly in their new space and it's not too strong and after I come back in, uh, in Roma in my studio and I began to thinking uh, about this experience and the strange thing is that there really is um, a big relationship about a big relation about the nature of this place and the madness of the people This part with color, like is like a uh, hallucination, hallucination, um, and it's taken from uh, an important work of art made by Grunewald in the 15th century, uh, and you have like some hallucination in uh, in this work. It was really a beautiful experience to live one month and a half with these people uh, we have worked a lot we have drawn a lot and uh, and we have made really some interesting experience one each other and we are keeping touch we really take a lot of things one each other and uh, recreate a really strong relationship and uh, uh, I really was really sad when I have to go out uh, from this project uh, but I am really happy also that these people uh, have made a big work by themselves because they take a lot of power and uh, there are people who think that they can't do anything and after one month and a half they have made some too big wall drawing and so they, they were really happy and I was happy too. <laughs> I hope, I hope, but I don't know that my work will continue to change, changing, 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 all the times, all the projects. I hope also that when the work change, you can also see uh, like a line, uh, and it's the line of thinking about something in the same way each time.